In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Colombian Exchange. The Colombian Exchange is the transfer of plants, animals, human populations, and diseases traveling from the Western Hemisphere to the Eastern Hemisphere and from the Eastern Hemisphere to the Western Hemisphere. We will see the effects of the Colombian Exchange in both the New World and Old World. Now, at first, we know that Columbus wasn't the first guy who discovered North America. It was the Vikings. Why didn't Vikings um, have such a change in our lives, but Columbus had a big change in our lives? Well, there, there's one reason. The Vikings didn't have huge establishments or settlements in North America. They just came and left. However, Col Christopher Columbus was more dedicated, and he was able to come back and tell everybody that he discovered a new world. Soon, many more people were thrilled and also were as dedicated as him to reach the new world. This is how uh, Columbus is different from the Vikings. And also, this is how plants and animals and human populations have been exchanged from one place to the other. The long-term causes and the reason, the most likely reason why Columbus was sent to the new world was because um, of the three Gs. One, God. Two, Goal three glory. God, which stands for for the people, the kings and queens to spread Christianity. Two is gold to get rich, and three is glory to become a long lasting person in history. To achieve those long term goals, they sent Christopher Columbus to the New World. Now immediately when they arrived, there were also some causes that they created. One was European arrives in Americas. The second was the Europeans bringing plants, livestock, animals, and etc. Now let's see the effects of on the New World and on the Old World. So uh, let's first see the effects on the New World. Let's start over here. The Spanish conquered Native Americans, Aztecs, and Inca lands. The reason was to get lots of land and try to find gold. There were also religious beliefs that forced indigenous people of the Americas to turn into Christianity. Like I said, in the long-term causes, it was for God. Next, lots of people died due to diseases like yellow fever, smallpox, measles, chickenpox, influenza. And since many Native Americans died due to diseases, Africans were brought as replacements for slaves. The Europeans also brought lots of food, crops, livestock, weapons, mirrors, and etc. These were new to the Native Americans. And there was also a cultural diffusion through migration, trade, and settlement. Because of all this, the spread of death, disease, and slavery from Europe was brought to the New World. Now we'll move to the effects on the Old World. Let's start over here. Foods such as apples, pineapples were introduced to the Old World. Fruits such as corn, potatoes, beans, tomatoes, cocoa, tobacco were introduced to the Europeans. Animals such as turkey, llama, parrots were introduced to the Europeans too. Diseases such as hepatitis, polio, and syphilis ranged across Europe, killing 5 million people. Crops like the Three Sisters were filled with lots of nutrients. This helped people live longer, which was a huge population growth in Europe. Next, the European economy shifted towards capitalism. Capitalism is basically where rich merchants try to handle and own the whole market. Because of the effects on the new world, the old world gained crops, land in the Americas, and slaves from Africa, and huge population growths. In conclusion, Colombian exchange is the transfer of plants, animals, and diseases from the Western Hemisphere to the Eastern Hemisphere and Eastern Hemisphere to the Western Hemisphere. Now, you might be wondering, how did the Native Americans lose against the Europeans? The Native Americans knew the lands better, they were adapted to it better, but how did they still lose? Well, there are three ways they lost. One is through weapons and armor. The Europeans already discovered huge armor like steel and iron. This was used to help defend themselves against bows and arrows. Also, they had guns and cannons and steel swords, which were used at very deadly when the Native Americans ambushed them. Next is that most of the Native Americans 
weren't even like united together. They were living in separate tribes and it was easy for the Europeans to take them on one by one instead of a huge force together. And lastly is the Native Americans ideology. The Native Americans believed that everyone could share the earth and it belonged to everyone else. So they didn't really engage in combat when the Europeans just took their land away. So these are the reasons why Native Americans lost against the Europeans.